Hi guys, good lord, it is going on 11 p.m. on Monday night, March 16th, 2020. So as I just announced in, a, in an associated video, starting tomorrow, Tuesday, uh, March 17th, 2020, I am going to be diving into, good lord, more than a dozen short interviews with all sorts of uh, collapsitarians talking about the only subject being talked about on the planet and the collapse of in the collapsosphere and that would of course be the C word the coronavirus so I am going to be so busy with that I'm barely going to have time to uh, even open up the mainstream and alternative media for more coverage, but I am so sorry. I've already forgotten the alert uh, reader who sent me this story from The Guardian, uh, which I think is a, a, a perfect uh, example of what I'm going to be talking about with all these people and signs of how coronavirus could be leading to Mad Max and the collapse of global industrial civilization. We shall see. And uh, this is from The Guardian. The, you have to go over to England to get this reporting here. U.S. sales of guns and ammunition soar amid coronavirus panic buying Long lines and massive rush reported at gun stores across America. This is a picture of a gun store in Culver City, California. This is not the great state of Texas. This is what it looks like in Southern California uh, yesterday at one of the local gun stores. All right. <clears throat> Sales of guns and ammunition are soaring across the U.S. as fears of possible social unrest amid the coronavirus crisis are prompting some Americans to turn to firearms as a form of self-protection. On the West Coast, long lines of customers were queuing up outside gun stores to stock up on deadly materials at the Martin B. Redding Gun Shop in Culver City, California. The line stretched around the block throughout the weekend. One customer told the LA Times, quote, politicians and anti-gun people have been telling us for the longest time that we don't need guns. But right now, a lot of people are truly scared and they can make that decision themselves." Close quote. Larry Hyatt, owner of one of the country's largest gun shops, Hyatt Guns in Charlotte, North Carolina, told The Guardian that the scenes of mass buying at his store were virtually unprecedented. Quote, This is only the second time in my 61 years in business that we have seen anything like this, he said, adding that the first occasion was the aftermath of the mass shooting at Sandy Hook Elementary School in Connecticut in 2012. Quote, we are experiencing a massive rush to buy guns and ammunition as people feel the need to protect themselves and their families. Now, I don't think you protect yourself from a virus with a gun. Uh, obviously, what they're talking about is, uh, they're talking about two things in this article. Namely, they're talking about protecting yourself from your next door neighbor coming over to kill you for your last roll of toilet paper. 
that 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 is the clear implication but we're going to get to the second implication here in a minute uh, Hyatt said that the type of guns being bought was reflective of the fear prevalent among customers. There was almost no interest in hunting rifles. Instead, people were opting for target guns and there was a big demand for AR-15 semi-automatic assault rifles. Asked why he thought the spike was happening, Hyatt replied, quote, financial meltdown, pandemic, crime, politics. You throw it all into the pot and you have one hell of a mess, close quote. A major online dealer of ammunition, Ammo.com has put out figures for sales from February 23rd to March 4th that give an indication of the scale of the surge. In that 11-day period, sales increased 68% compared to the 11 days leading up to February 23rd. Sales were especially pronounced in North Carolina and Georgia, which experienced a leap of 179% and 169% respectively. Other states with large increases included Pennsylvania, Texas, Florida, Illinois, and New York. In a statement, Ammo.com's marketing manager, Alex Horseman, said, quote, We know certain things impact ammo sales, mostly political events or economic instability when people feel their rights may end up infringed. This is our first experience with a virus leading to such a boost in sales, close quote. So there, th that is a very loaded statement that I really wish the Guardian had pursued. And I need to find someone to interview about this. What he's talking about where he says uh, mostly political events or economic instability when people feel their rights may end up infringed. What they're talking about here is their civil rights being infringed, otherwise being stomped on by the jackbooted police state. These people, what he's referring to, is not people just arming themselves against their next door neighbor coming to kill them for their last roll of toilet paper. What he's talking about is, you know, what some people might claim the Second Amendment was all about, and that is arming themselves when the, you know, when the jackboots come for you, when the, when, uh, the fascist governments, uh, as the U.S. Constitution has been completely shredded by this, uh, this hype, uh, this unbelievable overreaction, uh, as the federal government continues to, you know, to shred any remnant of the U.S. Constitution and as 1984 unfolds uh, in this country and the fascists and the police state and everything uh, take full advantage of what's going on, uh, that people are arming themselves against their own government in addition to their neighbors. Make no mistake what uh, this man is referring to. But anyway, apart from general anxiety surrounding coronavirus itself, some gun sales spikes appeared to have specific causes. Uh, 
one media, the, the Trace, reported that in Washington State in California, locations of early outbreaks of the virus, gun sales increased acutely, propelled by Asian Americans fearful that they could face xenophobic and racist violence against their families given that the original source of coronavirus was China. This is David Liu, a Chinese-American gun dealer outside LA. Quote, people are panicking, meaning Asian people are panicking because they don't feel secure. They worry about a riot or maybe that people will start to target the Chinese. And, uh, you know, you're going to see all of these factions, all, all of these tribal factions, you're already seeing this uh, unfolding. Uh, I anyway, guys, uh, th this is the... the, the that this uh, whole corona virus outbreak, whatever your opinion about the coronavirus is at this point, uh, the coronavirus has nothing to do with this story anymore. Uh, it is the match that is setting off Mad Max. And uh, Donald Trump has figured this out. Uh, what did we hear? So I guess San Francisco starting in, in uh, what time is not in three hours from this minute, San Francisco will become a pure police state. Uh, the San Francisco Bay Area will be on lockdown. You know, the San Francisco Bay Area, world-renowned as a hotbed, you know, for the little lefties uh, that, that uh, and, and I'm seeing this in Austin, the, the you know, the lefties uh, cheering on the police state. It, it is getting very, very weird. Uh... And uh, anyway, you can say goodbye to your civil rights, uh, whether or not you're concerned about yourself getting the, what sounds to me like a bad cold, uh, you can kiss goodbye your civil rights uh, in the United States of America, they're gone. Uh, uh, the police state is here. Mad Max is a right around the corner and the blood will be flowing. You will, you will see coronavirus related violence. You will see bodies piling up uh, soon enough, not from the virus, but from Mad Max uh, unfolding because of, of this unbelievable fear uh, being, um, you know, being hawked uh, by everybody from uh, the mainstream media to Chris Martinson right up now to Donald Trump. Donald Trump does not believe one word out of his fat mouth. Uh, anything that Donald Trump has said today or the, it's a total big fat lie. Uh, you know, D Donald Trump, even that mental midget knows what the real score is, but uh, for his own political uh, survival, he has to play the game. He has to get in line with the sheeple. And there's very few of us 
bucking the trend. I have no idea, guys, with these people that I'm getting ready to interview, how many people uh, are on uh, the, the uh, who, who believe that our constitutional rights are more important to us than the threat of getting a bad cold. It'll be interesting to see where people fall out. I honestly don't know uh, how many of these people I'm getting ready to interview, but we're gonna, it's gonna be a lively debate and stay tuned for uh, to Collapse Chronicles the rest of this week as we go all coronavirus all the time on Collapse Chronicles my guys.